right, here with Captain Beef. How are you enjoying your tour so far? Oh, yeah, it's been pretty good. Like, just, yeah, bring all the boys together and to win by a point. So, yeah, not too bad, actually. Got a day off today and shopped about and, yeah, pretty chilled. We've just got Tyson Hodge here. He hasn't been out of this bed all trip, I think, but we'll just ask him how his trip's been. Good. He doesn't like to speak much, but rumour is you can eat the most burgers out of anyone in this room right now. Are, they, are these rumours true? Who wants me? I'll take them on right now. <laughs> We've um, Ado Potato here, or Big Aids, whatever you want to call him. How have you enjoyed your tour so far? Yeah, it's been really good, man. It's a new experience that I haven't had before. And it's, it's a good group of lads that I've been with, and I'm really enjoying the experience. Good footy team, good players, good blokes. Here with the man they call uh, Mr. Fresh. Just wondering why you got that name, Matty. Because I'm fresh. <laughs> so I'm uh, here with K McDermott from the South Dubbo Raiders. Uh, how's your tour been so far, mate? Yeah, it's been good. Just been with the boys and meeting new people. It's been great. That's good. Are you missing uh, home at all or what? Yeah, missing mum and dad and family. That's good. Um, How did you find the game on Friday, Monday, Sunday? Sunday, yeah. It was tough. They were big and, yeah, it was a different game over here. Uh, yeah, we have a bit of a contest going on here. There's, we've got Team Bobcat and the under-16s. So we're just going to see who's a better karaoke Best at karaoke out of these two. Let's see how we go. Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no river wide enough to beat me from to you. Lean on me when you're not strong. And I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. Right, we've got um, Bryce Kennedy here. Bryce, uh, what's been your favourite part of the tour? Oh, I love the um, kickback sessions with all the boys here playing cricket, like in the hallway, just kicking back by the pool, listening to a bit of music. Just chilling out. Yeah, right, that's good. Um, now, I've heard you got play, uh, named um, the man of the match for, by the Leopards. How would you feel about that and getting the Guernsey? Nah, credit to the boys. Uh, nah, um, yeah, no, nah, it was a good, nice honour to get to play with the match. I don't know. Didn't think I deserved it, but... I don't know. Nah, he's a good bloke, that Bryce. So anyway. we've got um, Zach Hoskins here, former NRL player's son here, and um, it's been an honour to have him in the camp. Zach, how have you enjoyed it? Oh, I've loved it. Better than Lego. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's been pretty good. Um, how's your day today? Oh, I was sick. My feet are sore. We had seven hours of free time, so, uh, yeah, it was good. Yeah, that's good to see. Um, Country 18s 5'8". Berkey, how you going Berkey? Yeah, no, I can't complain mate, been pretty good in camp, so yeah, loving it. So what did you do today, how was jet boating? Yeah, no, it was pretty cold, wasn't too bad, like, um, I think I was a bit sore from that than footy yesterday, but yeah, it was good, good to see. Yeah, good. Uh, what have you enjoyed so much about the trip? Um, probably The most? <laughs> probably just being with the boys, um, playing a bit of footy and touring uh, another country, that's been pretty good, so yeah, no, loving it. Yeah. So we've got um, a... Actually, a uh, New Zealand, um, what can I say, citizen here, playing for the country boys. How have you enjoyed coming back over to New Zealand? Yeah, I love every moment of it. It's good to come over with the boys. It's good camp and good fun. Yeah, it's good to see. Now, I um, heard you had a good game against uh, a few of your mates from um, the Leopards. Um, How would you feel playing against them? Yeah, it was pretty physical. Uh, you can cut that out. Um, pretty physical. It was a good game, but um, yeah, it's good to get the win in the end. Yeah, no, it was good. Now, um, we understand uh, you've got Dan Jeffries as your room buddy. How's he go? Yeah, he does a few sit-ups before he goes to bed every night. Um, uh, a few push-ups. Yeah, yeah. He Working on the six-pack, typical. In the background, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of him, there he is. Henry here from uh, Canberra. How have you enjoyed being with the country boys, mate? Yeah, mate, it's been great, actually. Having a great time. First time in New Zealand, and all boys are good. Yeah, right. So we've um, really, in, really needed you off the bench on uh, Monday, uh, Sunday, I think it was. Um, how'd you enjoy the game? Yeah, it was a good game. Played a couple of minutes, got out there, had a dig, and then came back off. Yeah, no, good to see. One of our best, I believe. Um, so how'd you enjoy today, just walking around with the boys in Auckland? Yeah, it was good. Got out there for a couple of hours. Might have been six, actually. And yeah, then sore feet when we get back. Yeah, that's good. All right, game on Sunday. How do you think the boys went? Mate, I thought it was really good, actually. I was 
really proud of everyone. Um, they were some massive humans that we played against and I thought everyone stood up. Um, obviously, we've got some stuff to work on and we'll do that on Friday, but it's been such a good few days and um, I've, it's been some of the most enjoyable days of my time involved in teams. No worries. We got our Auckland on Friday. Do you reckon that'll be a tough matchup? Mate, I think they will be a tough matchup. Actually, I think they'll be a level above what we saw yesterday. With no disrespect to Odahu, they were a really hard team. But I think Auckland will really step up another another notch, and um, I think everyone will be ready. No worries. Rumor, rumor has it you're the selfie king among the boys. And apparently your uh, selfie stick was confiscated by customs trying to get through New yeah. Zealand. How do you feel? Oh, I was gutted, to be honest. Um, look, I couldn't get my selfie stick through customs. And, you know, it's it's part of me now. I use it as a walking stick. <laughs> it's part-time and I use it as a selfie stick when need be. And customs sort of cut me short. So for me to not be able to have it in New Zealand, I don't feel like it's me. I, I feel uncomfortable. Um, so if there's any places out there in New Zealand that have any selfie sticks on sale, I'd be looking to buy one because, look, I normally wear a flat brim and roll it. <laughs> <laughs>